Hey, listen, the moment I touch you, it's going to be done. All right. Um, but if they are, uh, they have rejected you, let's say it's a family member and they're saying, no, I don't want your Jesus and I don't want your, uh, your healing or your whatever. Okay, fine. Leave that person in peace. But tell them, I'm going to be praying for you. Now, what do you do? You go back uh, to your house and you begin to speak to that sickness and disease. And you command it by the authority of the stripes of Jesus. I break your power now. And I command you, leave that bar- that person's body now in Jesus' name. You will not stay. You will not remain. And you will uproot yourself and take every symptom with you. And you will never come back in Jesus' name. All right. Now, did that person that was sick hear you? No. But that sickness and disease heard you? Absolutely. Because you are operating in spiritual authority, all authority, over a spiritual a spiritual uh, problem, which is the power of the enemy. See, sickness and disease has its root in death, which is the nature of the devil. It's the power of the enemy. And Jesus goes on to say here uh, something that uh, you must renew your mind with as well. And nothing shall hurt you. Okay, so you're going to have to um, reject the fear that you're going to be rejected by people when you actually believe the word of God and you're going to have to fully commit to what it says in order to see its results. So can we still pray for healing for others even if they reject it? Absolutely. You don't even have to be in their presence to do it. You know, you can just speak to their situation. Jesus proved that you could heal the sick from a distance with the centurion's servant. A centurion came to him and said, "Come, uh, will you heal my servant? He said, I'll come to your house right now. And the centurion said, hey, no, uh, I know you don't need to come to my house, but by the way, I'm not even worthy enough to, for you to come to my house. Just speak the word and it will be done. He said, I'm a man under authority. I have people, I tell people what to do and they do it. He said, I am under authority myself and people tell me what to do and I do it. He said, I see that you are a man of authority. Okay, now you just speak the word because of authority and it will be done. And it says that his servant was cured the very same hour. All right, what is this? This is Luke 10, 19. Behold, I have given, I have given you authority. I have given you authority. And you can talk to yourself this way. 